Right, we've got a circle. BC is 8. BAC is 48. AB is the diameter of a circle. Determine the length of AB. Now, if that's the diameter, then the circle theorem tells me that the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So there's the two ends of the diameter. This angle is subtended by the diameter, so that is a 90 degree angle. So I've got a right angle triangle. I'm given a side, I've got an angle, so it's trigonometry. Okay, what do I want? I want AB, so call this length X. So there's the 90 degree angle, so this side is the hypotenuse. This is the angle I'm given, so that's the opposite, and that's the adjacent. I don't want to calculate, find X, which is the hypotenuse. I've got the 8, which is the opposite, so I'm using O and H. So, 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 so O and H is using, so that's sine. So it's sine of the angle, which is 48, equals O divided by H. So sine 48 is 8 divided by X. And we've got to be careful here, because we've got the unknown on the bottom. Okay, so the x has to come up the other side. Opposite of dividing by x is times and by x. That's x times so sine 48 equals 8. And then to get x on its own, that's 8 times and by sine 48. Or the other side is divided by sine 48. So, calculate that. Make sure you've got a degree sign there. So, I've got 8 on top. Sine 48 on the bottom. So I got 10.76506184. Uh, I'm given a whole number in the question, so I'm going to give it my answer to a whole number. So that's 7, because it's more than 5, increases a 0 to a 1. So x is 11 on the units in centimetres.